Hi everyone, this is Sam from Cloud Tech Well. Today we will be looking at how to provide access to EC2 instance for a particular S3 bucket. For example, we have an S3 bucket which is private and uh, does not have a public access. We will be providing access, access to this uh, EC2 instance using IAM role. Let's jump on to example. I am creating an S3 bucket. I am just giving the name for this S3 bucket as it you can give any name but it has to be unique because the bucket name is global and uh, we cannot name uh, use the same name for uh, different buckets so i'm not going to change any permission i'm going to block all public access it says it means it's a private bucket so no one can access so and one unless we provide some access to this bucket so click on create bucket Now for this demo, we need to have a uh, East instance. I already launched an East instance. We can connect to our East instance directly from the console itself. Click on the instance and click on connect. And use the East to instance connect option. Make sure you have AWS CLI installed already. Otherwise, uh, we, we won't be able to list S3 buckets. If you want to check whether AWS uh, CLI is installed or not, just type AWS and see. You should see a similar option. In that case means AWS is already installed. If you type AWS S3 LS, it won't. Because there is nothing configured for this instance, it does not have any accesses credentials configured or any uh, roles assigned to this uh, instance we will be creating an iam role and we will be attaching to the iam role to provide access to an s3 bucket uh, from this now let's go to the iam service click on iam go to policies create a policy choose a service give s3 here now for the actions we are going to list the bucket and copy the bucket so i'm going to choose list object and uh, get object is there okay once you have chosen now come to resources here we are going to need to add bucket arn so come to uh, click uh, s3 bucket and come to properties and copy the arn of the bucket first add this we need to add uh, the same arn with a star so that it will access all the objects inside the bucket so now click on next tax next review give the name of the uh, policy i am giving s3 bucket policy for ec2 instance you can give any meaningful name then click on create policy once you done this we need to create, create the role click on create role choose aws service and choose ec2 instance then click on next then choose the policy which we have created then click on next then give the role for this s3 role for ec2 you can give some meaningful name then click on create role once you create the role go back to ec2 instance now we need to attach the role to the east instance otherwise it won't work click on modify am role then choose the role we have created just now click on save now if we come back to our console and if you now try to do a list aws s3 ls 
it will get access denied because we are not provided access to that uh, entire s3 buckets uh, we have provided access only to the particular X, s3 bucket so we can list objects only for the s3 bucket if you want to know list how to the particular bucket go back to s3 and choose the bucket which you have provided access click on properties and choose the bucket name now if you come here aws s3 ls and give the bucket name now here you can see now it is able to list the bucket which we have provided access suppose if you want to copy give the full path of the uh, which file you want to copy so here we created i have created one test file i have put an object to test object here you can also apply it. sorry just give the full path of the bucket full path uh, full path of the bucket followed by the which file you want to copy so if you see overall what you are doing is aws s3 this is a general command in s3 what operation we are going to do we are going to do copy on which bucket and which object so where apart uh, after this in the dot nothing but it will copy the file to that current directory So here you can see the copy text document it says a hello world so that's how we can able to make use of a iam role permission to provide an access to an s3 bucket for a particular bucket if you want to do any other operation apart from list and copy you need to give the permit object permission if you want to upload you need to give s3 put permission like that and so on that's it from the today's lecture if you like my video subscribe to my channel and if you want to know any other topic as well just comment in the comment section thank you